Hi there, welcome to the Consulting Pro. Today is 28th of January 2024 and time is 10 a.m. CET. I just finished my DP600 exam, which is in the beta phase right now. And I thought that it is very important that you should know my personal review about this exam, which is gonna definitely help you if you are gonna appear for this DP600, which is Fabric Analytics Engineer Associate exam. So if you would like to know more, please stay tuned with me till the end of this video. And in this short video, I'm gonna tell you everything about it. Before we move further, if you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell icon so that you always stay updated with our latest videos and updates. Very soon, we are also going to create a very dedicated series on DP600 exam, which is for Microsoft Fabric certification. In my last video, I have already talked about what is this exam, who should appear for this one, and what would be the different topics in the exam that you can expect. But in this video, we are going to deep dive and I'm going to let you know some very important information that you are not going to find anywhere. So let's start very first with this page where you can see that exam is DP600, which is implementing analytic solutions using Microsoft Fabric. Over here, you are gonna get all the different kinds of topics, etc. And if you want to schedule this exam, you can do that. But remember that this exam is still in the beta phase and I won't recommend you to go for this one. And why is that? Why I'm asking you not to appear for the beta exam? There are a couple of reasons for that, which I'm gonna let you know very soon. But let's go further. And here you can see what skills are being measured and the topics are also listed over here if you would like to go over there. The very important information over here is that passing score is gonna be 700. The exam is gonna be total about 1000 points and out of that you are gonna need 700 to pass this exam. You can also learn about the beta exam over here if you're gonna click on this link. However, if you're gonna need a guide for this DP600, please do click over here. As soon as you click, you are gonna to get to this page and here you are gonna get a lot of more important information in detail that are gonna help you that how you can crack this exam. But that's not gonna be enough. And I'll also tell you why it's not gonna be enough. Now go back. The another most important information over here is this exam sandbox that was not available previously. Microsoft is updating their documentations constantly and that's why I really like Microsoft in terms of at least the documentation that they are doing. So over here, you can just get the same experience that you are gonna get in your real-time exam. You have to select yes, go further. Here you are gonna get, okay, this is your sandbags and here you are gonna get some more information like maximum time for exam, etc., etc. Now, another important part, the total duration of the exam is gonna be two hours and the total number of questions that you are gonna get would be 59 questions. Out of that, you are gonna get probably two case studies, which I got it, two case studies over there, five questions each. The very first case study you're gonna get at the starting of the exam. Please do remember that if you are gonna be out of this case study, you cannot come back. That means you cannot review your questions. So they are gonna be first five questions in the case study. Then you are gonna get 48 more questions, which you can come back or you can move forward to, and you can also review those questions. Out of those 48 questions, some questions are gonna be simply yes and no. That would be about five to six questions, so please do remember that as well. Now, the third part would be the another case study where you are gonna get five more questions over there. So that's why you are gonna get. Now, you have to come over here, click OK, you have to click Next, and that's the same screen you are gonna get over there, but in the real-time exam, you are gonna get 59 questions. Please do remember that, and two case studies. Now click on the start exam, you are going to start this exam and this is exactly the same interface you are going to get in the exam. So if you are attending Microsoft exams for the very first time, then you are going to get this kind of interface. If you have already attended so many different certifications exam that I did in the past, then you are going to not be surprised to be honest. But why I was so surprised in the exam? That's another very important part. First of all, number of questions were 59. That's okay. Exam was very interesting, but as well as very challenging. I never spent two hours in any of the Microsoft certification exams. And this exam literally made you to sit for two hours, the complete two hours for the exam. And still, I'm not sure whether I'm gonna crack these exams or not. Now, let's just answer anything over here. And we are just gonna attend these 10 questions. You can also do it. And then you have, you are gonna get some drag and drop answers too. You are gonna get over there drilled down answers to so please be prepared over there like this same scenarios you are getting over there and now we can just click over here this type of the case study probably this is the case study area which you are going to get and if i'll go forward 
then you have to answer like drop down and all so please be ready for these kind of questions i'm not even checking that i just want to complete that here you can select it go forward and these kind of case study so this is a case study question here you can check the environment where they are gonna tell you okay what kind of environment is it what is the workspace etc then the requirements are gonna be there and if you would like to check the question on the top you can check it just don't click next otherwise you are gonna skip that question please be very much uh, attentive over there when you are gonna appear for this exam now you're gonna get multiple choice questions and you are also gonna get the single objectively like single choice questions you would also get something like this so i believe you have already appeared the microsoft exams so that's not even the case that you should worry about and at last you have to submit it but what happens once you completed this beta exam well here's the interesting part first of all if you are going to complete this beta exam you are not going to get any results on your screen that's usually you get it when any certification exam is generally available for that you have to wait at least two weeks after this dp600 or the beta certification exam is gonna be available for the public that means the generally available so you have to wait a lot for this certification exam and that's why i was saying that it doesn't worth to try for the beta exam you are paying the same fee as the other certification exams or the generally available certification exam yes but you can get a 50 percent discount if you are going to attend their cloud skills challenge or something so you can try that if you want to get some discount however if you are already a microsoft certified trainer then you can get about 75 percent discount so please do use your mct id over there and you can get that discount now i told you about what was the pattern over there how many number of questions was there how you can actually see how when you are going to appear for the exam then you can appear now the good thing is that now if you have a macbook or you have any windows laptop you can attend this exam at your home at your pace from anywhere at your pace doesn't mean that you don't have to complete this exam within two hours yes the exam limitation is still there but if you need to take a break you can also take a break but that's going to count within those two hours please be mindful of that so you can take exam from there exam there are going to be total 59 questions two case studies some yes no questions as well over there there are going to be multiple choice questions and also the single choice questions over there so this is going to be the complete pattern of the exam and my idea out of this exam at last is simply guys please be mindful if you are going to go for the beta exam you are not going to get your results just after passing the exam so you have to wait till it's become generally available and also two weeks after that your transcript is going to be available on your portal where microsoft dashboard is available for your own certifications last but the very important point for you this exam is not for everyone trust me and why i'm saying so it needs a lot of extensive knowledge of data warehousing etl python power bi power bi admin microsoft admin everything is gonna be over there that's why i'm saying that it took me two hours to complete this certification exam and still i'm not sure whether i have cracked this exam or not i'm gonna probably get it later but the good thing is that if you are really determined to do something you can crack this exam for you specifically we are gonna prepare especially very much real life scenarios when what you can expect in your exam we are going to prepare specific question and answers and we are going to provide you very soon if you are looking for a one-on-one training as well for this microsoft fabric certification or power bi certification or enterprise data analyst exam please do reach out to us if you are going to need any other training as well like microsoft power bi microsoft fabric or microsoft power bi admin etc please do reach us at connected bi consulting pro.com I hope this video worth your time and now you get some really very important insights about this exam. Please do let me know what do you think about it and if you have any question or concern, please do let me know in the comment section and I'm going to see you in the next video.